Hi, good evening. I wonder how you're feeling this evening. We're in now to the fourth week of our lockdown and I know many are struggling, find it really hard. And being on your own, not talking to different people, makes us go in on ourselves. I'm finding that with myself, I'm finding that with um, particularly some uh, one of my children. They not actually want you to talk to people on the phone. Uh, I'm not sure why. But I, I think there's a sense where we're on our own and we're just looking inwards and becoming a bit introspective, which is always a worrying thing. So I do hope and pray you are making that effort to speak to people and go out of your comfort zone. Uh, I know I find it hard. I'm not a naturally somebody who loves speaking on the phone, but I'm forcing myself to ring a number of people every day and just trying to uh, make sure I talk to people and I share how I'm feeling. And I pray and hope that you are too, because if we keep bottling it up inside, I, I, I do fear what might happen to us over the coming weeks, for we're not even halfway through this yet. I'm sure tomorrow the news will be, well, there's another three weeks of lockdown to expect uh, at a minimum. Uh, and then maybe they'll start to lift some of the, the most stringent restrictions. But as I've been reading, that may well go on for months to come to uh, a greater or lesser extent. In fact, I read somewhere this afternoon they're talking about 2022 before uh, we can really truly be sure that we can get back to normal, if you can even believe we can get back to normal after this. In one sense, do we want to get back to normal? Do we rather not have something changed in this world? We're in God's hands. Only God knows what is going on. Well, this evening I was reading uh, our I read from Acts, that's been set for our weekly prayers. Uh, and Peter comes to this man who was lame. And there, Peter and John speak to him. He asks for money. But Peter did something far more uh, amazing. He said to them, silver and gold, silver and gold I do not have. What I do have, I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. And the lame man got up, walked and jumped and praised God. And people saw it and also praised God. But that kind of miracle is such a rarity, even in scripture. Now, I believe in miracles and I have had enough uh, experiences in my Christian life to know that God sometimes miraculously brings healing to people in need. But more often than not, we have the question, why? Why has God not healed? Or why has this happened to this person? And in most senses, in most cases, there's no reason, there is no why. It's just that we live in a fallen, broken world. But... What Peter and John do reveal is that there is hope. This Easter week we are remembering that there is a resurrection hope and that's so important. Uh, I've had, uh, in some ways I've, we've been blessed, very few funerals have come into the, uh, this region so far. We've lost very few people to the virus and I was talking to a funeral director earlier today and said only in this last week have the number of funerals began to increase. But we've had our first two come into St George's, one of whom is a dear brother and friend, David Beale. And he'll be missed. And what's really hard is that when we have the funeral, it'll be limited just to the immediate family. And so many people will grieve. And I've written something, I've taken some resources and adapted them to create a, a prayer to be used at home and I'll send those out in the coming days people who like them and if you're not on our email list and would like one drop us a message uh, through email uh, vicar at st george's fatfield.co.uk or go to the church website and send us a message and i'll get those resources to you because i'm sure there'll be many people who would like to be at funerals who can't be at them but as we come and stop and reflect on god this evening let me just uh, pray the prayer that's set for Wednesday this week in our weekly prayers and readings. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love 
towards the human race. Send your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon that cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Well, thanks for listening this evening and be encouraged that God is with you, that he knows you, he knows everything about you, he knows your situation, he loves you. Jesus died for you. And yes, we need forgiveness for our sins, but God's grace is bigger than anything we could possibly have ever done when we come to him. So I pray you sleep well and are blessed in the days to come.